Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the Town Square Theater mission and we'll take a look at the Elite version of the mission. I already made a video about that mission but that was on the test server and uh, since the game has been added to the live server I've seen quite a few posts in the forums about people who seem to struggle with that mission. So let us start by switching to our DPS armory. So in this case the loadout I'll be using will be the uh, Attune Robot Sidekick. The Distortion Wave, Closed Loop, Anomaly, Quantum Tunneling, and Amplified Heat Vision. In short, I'll use Anomaly to stun NPCs a little bit. Also, even as a DPS, you can do a bit of crowd control when you use your Quantum Powers. So that's what we're going to do a little bit. Closed Loop and the Quantum Tunneling will be shields that will give me extra survivability. And also, Quantum Tunneling will allow us to teleport. It will make more sense once we actually do play the mission. For the artifacts, I'm using the Solar Amplifier, the Dead King Scepter, and the Quizlet. And for the allies, I'm using the three Batman. Although in this case, let us use the From the Shadow ability. I have to admit, I never really used it before. Although I'm not saying this is the only way to complete the mission or the best way, but this is how I actually complete the mission. Almost forgot to mention, the weapon I'll be using is Ed Blasters. I don't take the whole Ed Blasters abilities because, because I don't really like the scissor kick, but the ability I use a lot is Pulse Beam. Uh, let me show you. So this is the Pulse Beam. It's a block breaker, basically. Uh, way back when, when we were playing PvP, about 90% of the player base would uh, block, block, and block some more. Pretty much 90% of the PvP player would spam block. So playing PvP a lot of the time, I pretty much became a spam block breaker. And way back when, when we would use a pulse beam, it would block break for as long as pulse beam was activated. Nowadays, it only block breaks when you actually start uh, using the pulse beam, but oh well. But I still enjoy using it, so I kind of like to use end blasters a lot. But enough stalling, let's get this party started. Okay, we're looking for clues. Why does Hecate, goddess of magic, have it out for magicians? This place is swarming with monsters. Come on, I'll race ya. Wonder Girl, wait. Ugh, my fault. I promised a show if we cleared out the theater fast enough. Reminds me of a younger me. No thought, just go, go, go. So one of the yeah. things I like about Quantum... exactly how you are right now. Back. I might have stitched myself up with that one. But you gotta admit, I've gotten better at improvising. Ha, that's why you make such a lovely assistant. I forgot why I, uh... Forgot that the NPCs were a bit chatty in this situation. Yeah, booby boo. So one of the reasons why I like to use Quantum is because you can do a bit of crowd control even in DPS role. And uh, you might think that maybe it's because I'm using uh, controller gear or something like that. But even when I play other powers, like even when I play, let's say, the light power, the light power, even when I play as a controller, holy crap, I have a hard time uh, trying to crowd control enemies. But with Quantum, even if I play as a DPS, the crowd control works uh, pretty darn good. And uh, let's assume it doesn't work for whatever reasons. Or uh, let's assume my ability is in cooldown. The other no. ability you can use to kind of crowd control a little bit is uh, oh, no, you, do not. you have blasters with pulse beam. Your power like you'll notice, uh, let's see if I can do it. Uh, very often with pulse beam, you can actually push enemies and while you're pushing them, you're pretty much interrupting whatever oh, attack oh, oh. or whatever ability they're trying to do. Like that. And there's a quantum tunnel link that allows you to teleport out of trouble. So there's a few ways to be able to interrupt enemies. So again, I can interrupt them using Anomaly. I can interrupt them using Pulse Beam. And uh, we didn't see it here, but we can even lunge to interrupt them sometimes. So there's, uh, sometimes there's an embarrassment of riches on interrupting evil enemies. I won. Admit it. I'm stronger. You will be stronger yet. Bear my symbol. Burn through your magic and return it to me. Ugh, it is too much. It hurts and I can't control it. Hey, 
Hang on, Wonder Girl. We got your back. So let's summon our backup, uh, our Batman. The nightmares fear me. Also teleporting out of uh, out of range that also interrupts uh, some enemy attacks. And uh, I know that a lot of players are pretty much uh, focused on dealing damage, on using abilities that deal the most damage. But I kind of like to use abilities that do more than just the damage. For example, anomaly. Yeah, anomaly does do damage, but it also interrupts enemies, crowd control enemies, and it's also the supercharged generator. So it does a whole bunch of stuff all at once. So I kind of like to use abilities like that that do more than just damage. Uh, sometimes when there's a lot of effects, it's kind of hard to see when we can actually launch at the Wonder Girl. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So you can you can interrupt her by lunging. You can interrupt her with anomaly. You can use your pulse beam. Oh, that didn't work. You can use your pulse beam to try. You can use your pulse beam to try to, to push her. I have, I saw some comments on the forums where basically people were complaining that uh, Wonder Girl kept on interrupting them, and I guess that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing she's doing uh, to most players. So I guess if I can interrupt her first, I get the edge as opposed to her. And uh, full disclosure, I did play the mission quite a bit on the, on the test server. Like right now, my combat rating is uh, 422. But uh, I've been doing that since I was uh, 414. And I, I didn't really have any, any issues with this mission. But again, I played the mission quite a bit on the, on the forum, on the forums, on the test uh, server. So I know the fight pretty well at this point. So I don't even... Most of the time, I don't even try to look at the tail. I kind of can anticipate sometimes when she's going to do her attack. And I can interrupt her even before she starts doing it. Yeah, that's someone our friend. The Batman. Let's wake the dead. So again, you can see while I'm pushing her, she had a hard time trying to, to get her ability off. Lunch. It's your curtain call. See, I was pushing her and she had to break out. Oh, now I have my turn. So basically, without meaning to, I'm using pretty much the same uh, the same tactics that she uses against uh, most players. Might be why I don't really have an issue with this this fight. And I messed up a bit because uh, talking and fighting at the same time, it does kind of split my focus a little now, bit. But what was that? We interrupted Hecate stealing your magic, but no idea why she cursed you like that. Magic was a gift, one I must take back. I see now whose magic I should have reclaimed first. Zatanna, bear my symbol. Come on, this way. So let's collect our reward. And let us continue. You strike without honor. So again, a lot of players are hyper-focused on uh, using abilities that do the most damage. But I kind of like to use abilities that sometimes will uh, stun or hold enemies. Uh, because while they're stunned, uh, they're not doing damage to me. So... And again, One anomaly does do a bit of damage. The magical, the mystical, the Hecate cursed Zatanna live on stage. I never realized there was so much talky talk uh, during this mission. So there we go. No. So I was able to push back the evil Minotaur. 
So sometimes I'll use a heat vision, but uh, if enemies in some situation, I'll switch to pulse beam so that I can do more than just uh, do a bit of damage. So now let us go fight uh, the evil Zatanna. For my next trick, I'm, I'm going to need a volunteer. You? Oh, nose. Yes. You. Zatanna, stop. Don't do this. Oh, I'm trying. You've got to help me burn through this curse. This isn't the show I had in mind, but I'm down. I guess I'm the volunteer. So let's summon our friends. Let's get started. I move in shadow and darkness. And I'm always a bit puzzled. Uh, technically, the oh, the balls are balls. I guess I got lucky. A trick that people would use way back when uh, in various missions, in various raids, uh, fighting various bosses would be uh, something called a uh, tagging. Like they would try to get the aggro and then they would uh, they would get out of range from the enemy just as he was about to make his attack. I kind of use a variation on that in, in, the, in the sense that uh, I don't really try to get the aggro. But if I see that sometimes I will get the aggro or the enemy will do um, a bit of a big attack, I'll just teleport out of the way. It's something I can do easily enough uh, using uh, using quantum tunneling. Not so much if I'm using uh, if I'm not using quantum tunneling. So again, you see, pushing her back did kind of interrupt her a little bit. Box. Crap! Move! 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 See here, we had the Wonder Girl that warning us to move. Push! 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 I don't really care about the drones. So with a couple of shields, uh, you'll survive uh, well enough. That broke the curse, right? Yeah, yeah, you did it. You know, you've got a real stage presence, and you'd make a pretty good assistant if you wanted. Assistant? I'm thinking stage manager. So oh, you have uh, noticed. You, You're okay. Not often you're a sight for sore eyes, but it's good to see you, Constantine. Especially now that we know what's going on. Hecate's taking away magic, like all magic. So that explains the row unfolding in the House of Mystery. Dead man's been cursed, and Etrigan's warded up the place. None of the JLD can get in. Just once, I wish you'd turn up without a carpet bag of problems. Be fair, Z. The solution's in the bag, too. Batman's not in the JLD, now is he? We're walking him through it every step. Not that he needs it, but of course. Wow, sounds crazy. Good luck. Dang, there's a lot of talky talk. And you'll see I'm such a good DPS. I have top damage, of course. But seriously, uh, 
in case somebody wants to see the leaderboard for whatever reasons. Oh, time to get a reward. So you've noticed I barely use my supercharge, but the uh, anomaly does a great job uh, interrupting enemies and uh, crowd controlling them. Uh, Quantum tunneling does a great job shielding my character and getting out of trouble. Also, even though I'm in DPS role, the shield uh, of the quantum tunneling is strong enough. Uh, there are people who were mentioning that they, they'd rather play as a troll so that they can get the stronger shield. I uh, even in DPS, your shield are plenty, plenty strong. Or I should say, your quantum shield are plenty strong. And again, uh, you may have noticed, especially in this mission, I use a pulse beam a lot. Uh, there are missions where I don't use a pulse beam a lot, I'll basically just uh, spam my powers. Or I will use a pulse beam if all my powers are in cooldown. But most of the time I'll just use my powers. And in case you're wondering, Wonder Girl and Satana will give you 50 commendation each. So you'll get 100 commendation total playing this mission. Nah, almost a friendly. Soon. So there you go guys, so this is how I defeat the evil Wonder Girl and the evil Satana. So hopefully this might help at least some of you maybe not struggle so much in this fight. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. If somehow I see more people who kind of struggle with this mission, I might try it again as a controller or maybe with uh, other powers. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see for that.